I have a triple lip implant and <laughs> two eye eyebrows on the side. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, I'm rolling actually. Okay. <laughs> Being in bed with my baby. Not my actual baby, I haven't given birth yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Money, friends, family, lovers, all just to, yeah, to be sufficient. Self-sufficiency. Just like kind of living like out in the country and having your chickens and it all being really lovely and beautiful with your little argo and everything. But probably I'll get really bored if that happened. Lazing by some water somewhere with some friends drinks, no prospective responsibilities for a few days, and uh, having a fun. I don't think there is perfect happiness. I think there is a concept of happiness. There's happy moments, and I think that I've had many happy moments, but perfect happiness, it doesn't really exist. Perfect happiness doesn't exist. I don't believe there is such a thing as perfect happiness because each day something else would arise that will make you be happier than the time before. My greatest fear is that at some point the party might actually stop. When I was younger, I used to be um, surviving a nuclear war. My greatest fear is that you cannot, that I cannot move anymore and that I'm very ill. I would slip into non-existence without anybody noticing. Loneliness. I have no one to turn to in cases of misery of despair. Being alone, I suppose. Being alone. Being lonely. Maybe loneliness. Being a dad. <laughs> My greatest fear is to be mentally or physically disabled, especially if it involved my cock. My greatest fear would probably be the being left in a room full of spiders. I don't really fear things like that. Um, I mean, the world is full of big scary monsters and so on, but I'm pretty aware of them. My best friend, George, um, if only because he, can, he does what I can't do. He's got an incredible amount of energy and he'll walk into a room and um, whereas I'll be quiet and watch and one-on-one, -on -one, he fools himself around the room and, um, well, I miss it because he moved away and um, I could go out with George and he'd make me be sociable and nice and um, I'd make friends that way and he basically makes me, like, well, sociable and, um, yeah, he's probably the person I most admire in the world. Definitely. My mother. My mum. My mother. My godmother. The Dalai Lama. Possibly my brother. I always admired my brother because he's, he's very focused and very strong and very open-minded and I'm quite proud of him. Myself. Because you can't admire anyone else until you can find those things to admire in yourself. I would say that would have to be myself again, because you have to be able to see those things you despise within yourself first. Nelson Mandela, he's like a saint who, you know, everyone like, he's a little deity, and uh, yes, but he didn't use his, um, his, 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 his popularity um, on HIV AIDS and stuff. He was silent throughout, and he would basically um, allow tens of thousands of South Africans to die by keeping his mouth shut because he wouldn't give them the fucking drugs. And um, no, he's the person I most despise at this, this moment. I do have a list and it's coming out in CD ROM. I don't particularly like John Howard, the ex Prime Minister of Australia. I don't think I despise anybody. I don't despise anybody. I'm not that kind of person. I don't think I despise anybody. 
I don't despise anyone, I just despise stupid people. Religious people I despise, and I think they're abominations. Um, and so the Pope would be top of the list. My uncle, <laughs> he's quite, um, he just manages to make everybody upset. It's quite spiteful. I don't know, I have this horrible habit of, like, understanding everyone's background for what they do, or at least, I don't know. So I don't really despise them, I'm more like, kind of think it's sad that pe some people are the way they are. I mean... Leonardo. Napoleon. I find a lot of similarities between me and Marcel Proust, I think. History's over. I don't identify with anybody. Quentin Crisp, well, it's uh, kind of like just right there written all over me with a marker pen. In terms of identifying with somebody, nobody. There's people that I admire, but uh, nobody I identify with. I instantly think of Richard James Edwards from the Manic Street Preachers, but no one really knows if he's like alive or dead. I'd probably have to say two people, and that's Maria Callas and Emma Calvo, both opera singers. It was Hitler. Probably say Hitler as well. Benito Mussolini. Joseph Stalin. Maybe Adolf Hitler. Like, even though Stalin and Lenin maybe killed more people, what made Hitler more scary is not that he was more evil, it's that the people fucking gave him the power. Uh, I think the physicists who did the atomic bomb are probably quite stupid uh, because they thought they were doing something very clever. And all engineers, really, who uh, engineer uh, armaments, who, who forget that although they're being very clever, they're being clever to kill people, and that's not that clever at all. Yeah, I think to despise someone, you have to know them. Jealousy. Mm -hmm. Being impulsive. Indecisiveness. Self-indulgence. My lack of confidence, sometimes. My selfishness, it always gets me into trouble. Oh, susceptibility to addiction, that's it. I talk too much and don't know when to stop talking. I think that I still lose my temper sometimes when I don't want to. Not recognising people I just like met two days ago. It's so embarrassing and it's inconvenient. <laughs> I don't know, I, I do, I kind of like me a lot, actually. Uh, never really getting things done and having kind of almost grandiose ideas and like getting, and then as soon as I realise how much work it's going to be, kind of getting a bit bored and, uh, and shifting ten attention to something else.